It's a well-known fact many people flock down south in the winter to escape frigid temperatures. But this year, a new crew arrived in Austin, Texas, a long way from home. It's already very freezing in Beijing, China, so we can't have any on-water training sessions in Beijing. That's why we want to come here. It's the weather, the temperature is very mild, and this is a beautiful river. More than 60 members of the Chinese national rowing team landed on Ladybird Lake and have been renting equipment from the Austin Rowing Club. The connection was made by longtime University of Texas strength and conditioning coach Sandy Abney, who was hired by the Chinese Olympic Committee last year. Also helping Team China, Sir Steve Redgrave from Britain, the most successful men's rower in Olympic history after winning gold at five consecutive Olympic Games. Uh, we pick out the best athletes, trying to put them together, send them on training camps like this, and hopefully they get to a level that they can qualify and then compete for medals at the Olympics. In China, the sport of rowing is still in the infancy stage. There's been a recent push to make it more popular through established clubs, school programs, and competition at the university level. Oh. Redgrave says those who make the cut for the Olympic team will have something else in common that's hard to teach passion. You can uh, lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. You can do all the training, you can do all the hard work that, that, that only gets you to a certain level. You have to have that will to win, you have to have uh, a determination, and, and that comes from the hunger, uh, the enjoyment, and uh, the sheer work that has to go into that. On the journey to Tokyo, I'm Erin Cargyle.